You want a great pair of glasses, right? You want to look cool and stylish in 2022. You want them to be well-made and comfortable and built to last. But you also don't want to spend too much. Well, it's always been really difficult to combine all of those things into one package. Up until now. Introducing Gast. Even the packaging is amazing. All for the low price of around about £100, $150. Which makes these probably the new contender for best value glasses in the world. So sit back and relax. I'm going to tell you all about Gast. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And sadly, not everybody can afford a true luxury pair of glasses. Except now you can, because I would describe Gast as a luxury brand at an affordable price. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about Gast, who they are, where they came from, and why you might want to consider them for your next pair of glasses. So Gast was founded quite recently, actually, in Milan by Matteo Gastaldo, hence the name. And he wanted to create frames which are very bold, very current, but affordable at the same time. I know that a lot of brands profess to be offering luxury at an affordable price. And it's almost always a lie. There's almost always some kind of compromise somewhere. But I just feel like I've been transported into a parallel dimension where all of a sudden expensive things are cheap, thanks to Gast. And I'm gonna be telling you all about the little details that go into these frames. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the Dime, which is this model that you see here. And this is one of the best colorways that Gast offer, in my opinion. This kind of semi-translucent brown is slightly vintage inspired, but very, very modern and current in 2022. We've got this boxy angular shape, which is ultra cool, very dominant, of course. So these are for people who want that chunky look, the all chunky acetate frames. And that's the next point with Gast. These are real acetate. Most frames in that kind of price point, like your Ray-Bans, your Oakleys, for example, they're gonna be made with injection molded plastic and it's nowhere near as premium to wear and as long lasting as real acetate. So the dime comes in both this transparent brown and this vintage style tortoise shell with the accents of yellow throughout it. And this frame in this color is just instantly iconic. Sticking with the theme of tortoise shell, we also see this model, which is called the May. And this is a quite a difficult frame to pull off. It's a typical Wayfarer shape, as popularized, of course, by Ray-Ban, where we have this angular nature in the top corners. It makes it a touch feminine, but I actually think it's quite cool for a man or a lady, personally. And again, in tortoise shell, in this classic yellowish tortoise shell, looks very, very cool. You'll also notice the gold accents on the hinges, a really nice attention to detail. And the fact that there's no branding throughout the frame, which is an instant win for me, last thing, I personally want for my glasses is a huge name down the sides. And to me, that's just a lot more effortlessly classy than branded frames where you, it's just all about the logo. This is the same frame, the May, in a champagne crystal. I think pair this frame with a tint for maximum effect. This with a dark gray lens would look sumptuous. But crystal frames are so in, in 2022. And this is a great example of how on-trend gas frames are. I also particularly love with the transparent material, how you can see the metal core on the temples and the nice attention to detail that's done. For this price point, you almost never see that. And it's wonderful to see a designer actually achieving that at this price. But how are they doing it? Let's be honest, there has to be something that gives somewhere. Well, Matteo is quite upfront about this. I think within the first paragraph of his explanation about the brand, he'd explained to me that gas frames are made in China. And there is nothing wrong with necessarily with Chinese manufacturing. Does it have the history, the kudos, the credibility that Italy or Japan have? No. But you are getting these for half the price, maybe less than you would pay for an Italian made frame, and probably a third of what you'd pay for a Japanese made frame to this level of standard. And really, to the untrained eye, you're not going to notice much difference. 
And I rarely say that, look, I am not the kind of person to advise you to buy cheap glasses, but I really feel like I've uncovered uh, an unknown gem in Gast. This model is called the N piece. And I'm seriously thinking about these to wear for my own sunglasses. This particular pair in black just looks very classy. And to be honest, looks really expensive. It looks like it's a much more premium, more valuable frame than it is. On the sun lenses, you actually have AR coating on the back, which means you get less glare when the sunlight reflects off your eyes. So these are just high quality in almost every respect. In fact, I've not noticed a single missing detail yet. And this, of course, is the same frame in tortoiseshell. I think this is the colorway that I would choose. This is more of a standard Havana, as opposed to the more yellowish Havana that we looked at, and as opposed to a vintage orange style Havana, which we're going to get to shortly. But yes, this is just a really cool but bold frame. And I particularly like the green lenses on this pair. In fact, all the lenses in the gas range are really, really good. Next up, this is definitely the most statement piece from Gast. So this one is called the Logo Billier, and I did have to read that because that's quite a difficult name to remember. We've got ultra chunky acetate sides, a five barrel hinge, which we see in all of the gas frames. Five barrel hinges are extremely durable and tend to last a good number of years. And yeah, this is the, whatever I said it was called. <laughs> So these narrow styles are actually really coming in this year. I know that it's not going to be to everybody's taste. It's not really to my taste yet, but this is the way the fashion's going. And this kind of streamlined rectangular sunglass is so in at the moment. This is a slightly more yellowed tortoise shell, but without the dark black that you find in this one. So there's more brown in this tortoise shell. It's also not quite as transparent in the yellow tones. So little subtle differences, which make these different from each other. But if you are choosing this model, you've really got to think about the cream. And this is a limited edition colorway that they've come up with, with an amber lens. It's almost like a pinkish amber lens. Again, this is definitely going to be the most divisive frame that gas make, but they are not afraid of controversy. They even have a frame called, and I can't say it, but I will put it on screen. Yeah. They're definitely not a safe brand, very edgy. And this is a very, very edgy frame. It actually has, and I love this, by the way, I wish more of the models had this, writing on the side of the arm that says what that frame is and the fact that it's a batch of 50. So there's only 50 of these frames in the world. A really cool limited edition style. Again, one that I'm kind of tempted with, but I'm not sure if I can pull it off. Let me know in the comments. And on the subject of the limited nature of these, they're not a mass produced brand, which makes it even more special that they are at this really low price point. <laughs> and just to even complete the package, the packaging itself is incredible. So this is the box that you would get with a pair of gas frames. Inside this box, you have a beautiful leather, white leather case. You get a gas certificate and you get a gas clearing cloth. Fairly standard, but just the level of packaging. We have frames that are two or three times as much as these, which don't have the level of packaging that you get with gas. It's absolutely fabulous. But to me, that is one of the nicest glasses cases. And you get that included. Now, up till now, I think each of these styles has been particularly bold. These next two are some of the most subtle styles, the, some of the most subtle looks that Gast have achieved. This one is such an easy frame, a very classic shape. This is called the Gallet. This is more of a striped tortoise shell rather than speckled. Quite an interesting colorway. It's a bit easier to wear than a normal speckled tortoise shell. But again, the shape lends itself to easy casual wear. Very easy style. I keep saying easy, it's an easy frame. Could be paired with a photochromic lens. These would work really well as sunglasses, as would, to be fair, all of the gas frames. Just a nice, easy look. If you want to give a bit of a twist to this one, I would definitely recommend the vintage style orange Havana. I think this is a bit more unique, a bit more cool, a bit more on trend. 
especially contrasted with the green tint. Really, really nice pair of sunglasses. And they genuinely feel really nice and polished and smooth to wear. Obviously that's something that's quite intangible, but I review the most luxury glasses, the highest luxury glasses that you can imagine. And honestly, I would not be disappointed with a pair of these. Similarly, the Padger is another very easy style, but more of a rectangular shape. This has more soft corners. It has a slightly thinner acetate than the dime that we reviewed earlier. So it makes it just a little bit easier to pull off. Again, because it's semi-transparent, you see that metal work coming through, really nice attention to detail. And to pair with the gray coloring, they've gone with silver hinges. I think this is the only one with the silver hinges. So it's nice that they've actually made custom hinges specifically for this model because it would have been very easy just to go with the gold like everything else. But the silver metal work is a much better match to this kind of coloration. Again, we've got it in this speckled Havana. Nice and simple colorway. And I've definitely saved the chunkiest to last because this is a very, very bold dominant frame. We've got thicker temples, we've got a thicker acetate, and because it's a smaller shape, it makes everything look more defined. There's a brand, I don't know if you know it, called Jacques Marie Maj. They make frames almost just like this and cost more than five times the price of this. More than five times. I think probably six or seven times as much as these. If you're going for that look that Jack Marie Maj achieve, but you want something more affordable, you just cannot beat Gast. They are so cool. As I say, designed in Milan. And you can really see the Milanese influence. That kind of North Italian, which is all about suits, boldness, chunky frames. I'm kind of wishing that I was there right now. <laughs> But yeah, I actually met Mattia in Milan and that's how we got onto ordering the brand. Really cool guy and I was very proud to support him. It's nice to see someone taking that step on their own and wanting to create something unique. He's certainly achieved that. Finally, the common, the, sorry, the not common with the not in brackets. That was this model as well, by the way, is the not common. In cream. You just imagine these, I think these are really well suited to a beach environment. I think you've got your, your trunks on or your bathing suit, you've got your cream sunglasses, you've got this nice, gentle, relaxing tint, sitting by the sea, perfect. And what a note to end on. So if you want to bring Italian design straight out of Milan to your face for a very low price, Gast is the brand for you. Seriously, don't even think about any other brand. If you're looking for a low price, but you want quality, boldness, and style, in an acetate frame, of course, because not everybody likes acetate, there's only one winner. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and this showcase of a very unique European brand. Pretty sure I'm the first person to review these on YouTube, so really do let me know what you think of them in the comment section. And subscribe if you enjoyed it, as well as give us a like. Definitely give us a like, definitely subscribe. Both of those would be really cool. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.